Good day class! Welcome sa ating online public school. Uh, today, mag-uusap tayo tungkol sa isang napaka-importanting topic. And this is the beginning uh, ng algebra na topic. This is about variables. Ano ba yung variables? So, these are symbols. No? Representing numbers or values. So, ginagamit ba natin ito uh, mula nung araw o ito ba isang bagong uh, konsepto, bagong ideya? Well, actually, since kayo ay nasa elementary, ito ay inyo nang ginagamit. No? Uh, since elementary math, ito ay ginagamit na ng uh, ating pag-aaral. Example, bibigyan ko kayo ng mga ehemplo. No? Uh, for example, 2 plus 3 equals black. Or 2 plus 3 equals box. No? And so, these are symbols. Itong mga, itong mga ito ay symbols. So, this blank and this box are symbols representing numbers. Of course, we know na yung mga nakapaloob dyan na number is 5 because we know that 2 plus 3 is 5. No? And uh, when our teacher gets more creative, so ano ang gagawin ng ating uh, teacher to challenge us even further? So, our teacher would probably say 2 plus box equals 5. So, ililipat niya yung box, ililipat niya yung uh, unknown, ika nga, yung hindi alam. At if you fill in the blanks mo yan, or fill in the box, no? 2 plus blank equals 5. And then, of course, we know, without so much thinking, na yung sagot dyan ay 3 because we are so familiar, it's so intuitive. 2 plus 3 equals 5. So, we, we, hindi na tayo nag-iisip. Hindi na tayo nag, uh, gumagawa pa ng kung ano-anong proseso. We just immediately recognize and just write down 3 because this is so simple. No? Walang kahirap, hirap. Ika nga. But what if things become a little bit more complicated? So, for example, naging mas komplikado ng konti yung ating uh, pag-uusapan. Halimbawa, ganyan na. Is that still so easy to, to answer? Madali pa rin bang sagutin? Ito ay, uh, kung inyong na-recognize, if you put here 3, then this one becomes true. 2 times 3, 6. 3 times 3, 9. Pag in up sila, would be 15. Of course, you take care of your PEMDAS, no? So, multiplication, this, multiplication, will take uh, precedence, no? Dalawang multiplication ito, this will take precedence over addition. So, ibong multiply mo muna, bago mo i-add. We know that, we understand that. But how about this one? This is a bit more complex. Kaya nyo ba? Uh, if you are medyo mas uh, matalas-talas ang uh, pag-iisip, you might recognize that you need a 5 to make this happen. No? 25 minus 15, that's 10. But, now again, uh, multiply first and then subtract afterward. No? Then, negative 2 is also an answer. Okay. Negative 2 times negative 2, that is 4. Minus times negative 2, that becomes plus altogether. So, negative 2 times 3, that becomes 6. So, 4 plus 6 is 10. Pero masyado nang medyo mahirap-hirap ng mental exercise. Somehow, uh, it can be easier done with, uh, with uh, better symbols and with uh, better operations. Kesa sa ganito na... Uh, we just do it mentally, parang intuitively, by deduction. Ah, siguro lagyan natin ng 2, 3, 4, 5. Ay, tumama siya sa 5, and so on and so forth. And uh, that cannot be a very good uh, proposition in the long run. So, we have to find uh, new ways of doing things. Okay? And that is where the variable comes in. Kasi isa-substitute natin ngayon ang mga hindi natin alam sa isang variable that can take any value 
so that we can operate on it like real numbers and then eventually come out with a solution. So, uh, medyo malabo siguro sa ngayon, but let me uh, introduce the concept of the variable to you this morning. Okay, the variable na ginagamit natin normally sa algebra are the letters of the alphabet. No? So, like A, B, C, X, Y, Z. Uh, these uh, letters. Now, we normally would use the letters of the alphabet to substitute for real numbers. And sometimes, we even use the Greek uh, alphabet, the Greek letters. No? Alphabet. Uh, alpha, beta, gamma, sigma, theta, p, etc. So, Ito mga symbols na ito, ginagamit natin so that we can represent numbers by letters, whether letters of the alphabet or by even extended letters of the Greek alphabet because eh, madami tayong pangailangan minsan ng symbols and in mathematics, minsan na um, nagiging convenient sa atin ang paggamit ng mga Greek uh, letters. Okay, so let me uh, point out that it's more easy to do these things actually with the letters and variables na tinatawag natin, symbols, kumpara dun sa ginagawa natin kanina ng box or blanks or uh, or whatever na ginagamit natin ng elementary uh, mathematics natin. Ano? So, 2 plus box equals 5 becomes 2 plus any letter of the alphabet. Let's say we use N, the letter N equals 5. And then we say, without much uh, effort to it, by just, ah, the way, the same manner na madali natin ma-recognize that 2 plus 3 equals 5. So we can say that n is equal to 3. Intuitive. Because it's too simple. Okay? So let's say 2 times we use the letter x. x equals 5. Now you can see that it's very confusing. Times and x. So, anong gagawin natin? So normally, in algebra, we do not use the symbol ni multiplication. This symbol, eh, hindi na natin ginagamit to symbolize multiplication. So, may options tayo, may alternatives. Ano yung ginagamit natin? So, for example, we use the dot. So, 2 dot x equals 5. Or we say that 2 times x equals 5. No? But these things are still cumbersome actually. So, meron tayong ibang option na i-reduce na natin pag sinabi natin... Uh, a number, a constant times a variable, if we just write them down as magkatabi, then actually we don't need to uh, put any symbol in between them. The unwritten symbol sa gitna nilang dalawa is multiplication. So any number na makita ninyo na 2, 3x, ganyan, will be symbolized as a dalawang multiplicands and uh, sila ay multiply with each other. Okay, let me try to give you more examples. So, alimbawa, two x equals eight. Now, that means two times something equals eight. Two times an unknown variable, an unknown number is equals eight. So, how much is x? I believe, napakadali para sa lahat, x equals 4. I think you get the hang of it. Let's say another example. 3x equals 24. Okay? So, x equals 8. Perfect. How about another example? Purayin natin ulit. 
How about 5 plus x equals 10? x equals 5. Tama. How about 5 plus 2x equals 15? Tama. x equals 5. So, 2 times 5 becomes 10 plus 5 is 15. So, easily now, by using x no, to represent a number, a value, we can make use of an equation para makuha ang kanyang na, nakapaloob na value. Ano ba talaga yung kanyang laman sa loob? So, si x pala ay 5. In much the same way na dati ginagamit nating box or dati ginagamit nating blank line or dati ginagamit nating whatever symbol in elementary math. Now, we are using letters as symbols for real numbers. And the numbers they represent can be varying. Kaya natin natag siyang variable because it can vary or change. Ha? So, si x dito is 5. Si x dito is 5. Si n dito is 3. And so, they can vary in their actual values, but they are just symbolic, actually, of the real numbers behind them. And so, iwanan natin yung ating uh, elementary math symbols. Iwanan natin ito mga to. Hindi natin gagamitin. At papalitan natin sila ng letters of the alphabet or even extended Greek alphabet. That's it for now. Magandang araw and happy learning to everybody.